Well, let's get back to being the worst angel. Uh, I thought maybe there'd be a level select, so I did save and quit and then went to continue, and no, I'm just back at the next level. So I don't know. Where is everyone? Where are the guards? The wretched pilgrims who would visit me and revel in my misery? Gone. Consumed by the incursion. Many of them are now inhabited by demonic souls, twisted and deformed. You surely felt the presence wrapped within your foes. I have felt this, yes. Fitting end for them. For them all? <laughs> we're so awful! Oh well. It's okay because we're the main character. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rolling on a cord. C cords are- I, I- I really understand the appeal of wireless stuff, but uh... As a creator, nah, I really can't deal with anything less than wired. I'm wondering if using up my life, it, and like I if I got one less shard because of that, or if shards are something you get in-game? I'm just a little confused on the upgrade system, but maybe I'm not supposed to be able to upgrade anything just after the first real level, you know? Uh, I don't know. seem like a very, you know, efficiently laid out place, you know, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure OSHA would, would really appreciate this place, to be quite honest. Huh? thought you were dead. Whatever. What is that? Oh, maybe that opened the door at the top? Oh, there's two objectives now. Difficulty 1.2, so I guess there's a very granular difficulty upgrade curve, and you can... Of course, you can start it up higher if you want to, you know, with the hard and extreme. I wonder if you get more rewards. I, I like it when you when you get, like, better gear and stuff by playing on a harder difficulty, and, you know, it just makes things more fun and intense instead of just, you know, you know, boring and slow. I never liked when, you know, the, the high difficulty is just, like, crazy slow, like, enemies have increased ability to kill you, but you're just the same old you. Like, sometimes that's fine, if you can still kill things fast, but okay. I, I don't think I want to accept that death. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll just continue. Uh, getting locked in there seemed like it was a poor idea. I can't believe I'm still level 1. But I'm not sure if we, if we can go back in this game ever, or what the deal is with that, because... This seems like the sort of game where you would have some ability to grind, maybe, but so far, huh? I don't know what that- oh, you acquired shard fragment! Oh, okay, so we gotta kill the tough enemies to get the shard stuff. Okay, gotcha. Shard complete, common shard, okay. Oakley doakley, perky! Perkly darkly, please. P Perker, I can't see! Perker, get, get down! Thank you. Yeah. So they have different elements, I guess? That's cool. It's like, the pur purple is a fruit. Purple is an element. I really want more weapon things, though. Oh gosh, that's an, that's Lieutenant, isn't it? I... Oh, there's so many boss things here. Or at least mid bosses. I think I need to, like, focus on one so that they... Ah, oh, come on. Because I'm kind of wasting shots by having them hit walls and stuff. He just had the predator eyes thing on his chest. Oh, yeah, I guess that's his element. His, ele his element is predator eyes. Oh god, dang it! Terminescence. You have collected enough terminescence to craft a new upgrade to transportation. Find an upgrade on the main menu. Oh wait, maybe maybe upgrades are through different playthroughs. If we upgrade from the main menu, I I'm not sure how this all all this works. To be quite honest. I just know that I'm doing really badly right now, and this is like the lowest possible difficulty. Um, oh, I should... Oh, I, I completely forgot about this gun. I, I, you know what? I, I think I should just use any gun that I find until I run out. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, that is actually like even more better than I thought it would be relative to my normal guns. Yeah, I feel a little stupid for not not using the guns now. Okay. Okay. Newbie mistake. That's fine. Two fur. All right. Wait. Exit time already? 
That's gotta be some stuff we missed. I'm, I'm not gonna. Oh. For one thing, I gotta, you know, beat all the demons because in case they have shards and stuff. What's this? New log entry. Andrew Thorpe, captain of the Congrendulous. It's been quite a few weeks at port, preparing for the arrival of our special prisoner. The Faith keep insisting that they are not a prisoner, but rather an honored guest. But when your ship has spent nine months docked and is fitted with prison cells for a single passenger, that passenger is definitely a prisoner. Not sure yet who this passenger is, but the Faith have spent an awful lot of time and money refitting my shipping vessel into a suitable state for them. In addition to the usable requirements for security, such as door locking as a security checkpoint, the Faith have also issued a strange set of instructions. The workmen should to each etch specific symbols and words from a language I don't recognize to patch practically every surface. Wait, did I run out of ammo? No, I just switched to pistols for the normal things. Even the windows have unfamiliar markings. Bizarre indeed. Oops. Very bizarre. Alright, get out of here. Oh, hello. When, when do I level up? I don't know how much experience I have. I've been getting like hundreds of experience, but I guess we just need a lot. I'm sorry, I, I just can't leave. Especially now that I know I can't replay levels, at least not within one playthrough or something. I gotta make the most out of each play, uh, of each level. I do really hope that like you get more like equipment or like more items and stuff by playing in hard mode. Cause that would make a lot of sense if it's uh like like four times the difficulty, at least numerically, than than what I have now. That seems pretty intense. Did that? My security doors are locked until you operate a nearby switch operated by the limited time to reach the door. Okay. Where where is this door? Wait, was that the switch way down there? Wait, can I see a map somewhere? No? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's where that icon was. Okay, I just died last time I tried to press it. What? What is that? Checkpoint activated. You might already start this level after game. Okay. Wait. Wait, no, show me the things. Knocker. Okay, no. This the gun I have is better. Okay, just some ammo. Was that a shard? Double damage. This could have helped for the boss. What what is that? You got an Amethyst thingy. Okay, that definitely would have helped before the bosses, but but no, okay. So we played that level all out of order. Wait, did I open this chest this playthrough? I did not, gimme. All rightly diedly. Let's get out of here. With each shard, I feel my strength return. Indeed, but you have a long way to go yet, sibling. Push onwards. All right. Shard value retrieved, four. Okay, so that has nothing to do with my lives. Okay, good to know. View current blessings. Can I buy one now? I think I can, because I have like five. Oh, no, you gotta level up for those. The upgrades is the thing I can do. Transmutation. Demon Sight seems incredibly important, because it gives me more stuff, right? Oh, you gotta hold it. Demon Sight unlocked. Using Demon Sight. Collect various materials in the course of turn nine demons. Okay. Okay, yeah, so Demon Sight basically unlocks all of the crafting. Okay. Come on, it's. Oh, we got a component already. Okay, I, I did not expect all of this crafting stuff. I'm usually a bit iffy on crafting, but... Transmuted. Oh, can I just... Can I... Oh, I just already have this. Genesence. All right, let's see, let's get an oath. Health is increased. Potency. Split fire, critical accuracy. Ooh! Common 2%. I don't know, maybe I should go for more. Wait, okay, what's holy? Ooh! Sure. Alright, so more, more experience seems good. I always like to get in the, um... You know, the grind-enhancing items, or upgrades first. 
Something's different here. It's not the Lieutenant of Terminus, but rather something else. Yes, you have discovered the Fountains of Terminus, the gateways from Terminus to reality. Are we going into hell then? They will draw ever more Terminate to reality as long as they are allowed to exist. They must be destroyed if you want to make progress. Destruction and death, as always. It is righteous work! <laughs> it is righteous work! Okay. Fountains of Terminus. Wait, does, does that mean infinite experience though? Or do they have, like, no... Do we get no experience from the ones teleported in? Because I'm okay with infinite experience, but I s really doubt the uh, game developers are. Game developers and their, their, their balance. How dare they. I do like it that when you, you know, you, you still have major incentive not to die, because, you know, you get more health. Vandal? Oh. Yeah, get out of here. 30, 38? Do, do I... Is this limited, like, to you, like, X usages or something? This equipment that I have? I get them moats. What other game uses moat in that sense? Like, there's another game that has moats of light. Yeah, give me that. What is this? Oh, double damage. And what's this? It sucks. It stinks! Switch to Topaz coin. Max health, durability. Eh. New log entry. With only a few days to go. I have received a message that the ship has been officially renamed that carries into the Calangelus. An interesting choice of title that I have. Unclear why we have to make a ship. Or make the name of a ship to existence is meant to be a tightly, game, tightly kept secret. Either way, the face pays the bills, and they call the shots. Not completely at ease about this, but I did accept the money, so I can't really complain. Anyway, it'll be good to get back out, out there to the open seas. Being on dry land for so long makes me anxious. Oh, so this is a sea ship, not like a spaceship. At least the weather here is glorious. Oops. Sorry, I was trying to read that and play at the same time. I didn't really want to stop too much. Oh, hello. Double damage is definitely good. All right. Give transmutation. I already have demon sight, bro. Strange. Ow, 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 ow. Get out of here. Give me that health. Oh, no health from that one. That's fine. There you go. Fallen Terminus. Yeah, I don't think that one dropped. I don't think the summoned one dropped health. Or maybe maybe it did. Oh, too late now. Nice short levels. I like nice short punchy levels rather than, you know. I'll take a hundred punchy short levels from ten, you know, giga get super lost levels. But, I mean, it depends. If it's like proper full Metroidvania, but I mean, this isn't really meant to be something like that. Like Strider, the new Strider felt a little weird to me. I mean, it is kind of supposed to be Metroidvania, -y, but not quite. Like, it feels like a platformer that is, like, trying to have some Metroidvania elements. It doesn't feel like a Metroidvania that's, like, on its own. Uh, I, uh, maybe maybe it gets better. I got stuck in some, like, poison waste dump thing. Um, and I eventually just, you know, I, I, it, it wasn't bad. But I didn't feel super, it didn't feel super important to me to uh, finish it up. Then again, it was PlayStation Plus, so I I do like PlayStation Plus games and stuff. I, I don't really tend to complain about the quality of them, but uh, they, they are a slightly low... Like, if I'm not enjoying a PlayStation Plus game, it's the sunk cost fallacy, really. I don't I don't have that sunk cost fallacy, because I didn't really pay directly for it. So I'm kind of like, if this isn't great, I'm just not going to waste too much of my time with it, which isn't really a bad way to be. Which is funny when people say, like, oh, you didn't pay money for it, so, you know you're biased towards it. It's like, if anything, 
you're biased towards something because you paid money and you want to be like, oh yeah, I I, I, I like this, right? D don't I like this? I paid money for this, so I have to like it, right? Like, they did experiments and like, people would rather watch a bad movie that they paid for than a bad movie that was free, because I mean, they didn't lose anything, so they don't lose anything by walking out. Anyway, sunk cost fallacy, you can Google it if you want to learn things. Learning things is good! Uh, I feel reality became a fraction brighter with every fountain that I destroy. I work in his name. Is this how you see it? Your actions are now all for him? Why, of course. How else would it be seen? So, you have nothing to gain from the demon's demise? The chance to return home? Irrelevant. My survival here is of no consequence. I must end this terminal insurgency, no matter the cost. He's questioning me. I don't like it. I bet it's gonna be the penultimate boss. Okay, finally we leveled up. Ooh! Seraphis has reached a new level, maximum health by 25. In addition, you may choose the blessing, or blessing upgrade with this level. Monic Litany, XP. That seems good to get early. Critical Strikes will heal Seraph. Ooh. Oh, cooldown. Hmm. Killing Demon will send Seraph into bloodlust, increasing damage for five. S uh, it's not too crazy impressive. 20% increase. You know what? I'm just going to go. 10% more experience for the whole game seems pretty. Seems like a pretty good way to start out. Um, I guess we're, I guess we're just going to do two levels per, uh, per video here. So yeah, let me... I'm going to double check and see if there is some way to grind. I don't really want to grind since it doesn't seem like the game views that as important. Oh wait, let me, let's check our upgrades first. Um, missing components. Oh, we can upgrade the guns. Wards, same to string down. required. I don't, I don't quite how get, get how some of these work. Oh, we can almost upgrade that one. A passive that allows Sarah to destroy on it up and... Ooh! That seems very good. But I think we need more, we need more metal to get that. I mean, we are an angel killing demons. Is that is that metal or is that the opposite of metal? Something to think about. Yeah, I don't think I can upgrade anything quite yet. Oh wait, oaths, oaths. I think we have enough for one more. Yeah. All right. What is our best? What is our best? Um, best deadly movement. Blinking through an enemy will damage them. Collecting charge will not boost your maximum health. Um. Yes, please. Okay. Well, yeah, let me just take a quick look at this menu here, this main menu. I'm wondering how this all works. Play, challenges, upgrades. Selected miracles, select miracles. Or one, yeah, I don't, I only have, I only have these two. Oops, I didn't mean to press continue, ah, whatever.